Radio. You are listening to <laughs> Tracy Radio. Tracy Radio. Hey, what's going on? What's poppin'? Is you good, Drizzy? Welcome back to Drizzy Radio. Grab a cup of tea. Let's jump straight into this mess. But first of all, if you're new here and you wanna join the mess again, kindly hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you know wherever we upload. We share your message. Let's get into some mess, you guys. So since Nasib is in TZ, people are wondering where Tanasha Donna is. Tanasha Donna didn't wanna get people confused because you all remember what happened last time when she was in TZ when people accused her of sleeping in Damo Platinum's house or dishing it to Damo Platinum. She was like, mm -mm, I'm not ready for that drama. Okay, she decided to post that picture, right, that video right there. As you can see in the background, she is in the club, I think in Nairobi. And y'all remember what happened last time when she went to do to meet up with Damo Platinums, of course, he had taken, she has taken Nasib there to go and meet the dad. And also she was in TZ doing some businesses. People accused her of so many things, include the alleged kiss that was supposed to happen on stage. I expected Damo Platinums to kind of back her a little bit and say that, yo, it wasn't a kiss. You know, it was this and this, you know, defend her a little bit. Damo Platinums never said anything. But I think at this point, Anasha Donna is like, mm -mm. I'm not going to involve myself in that drama because I know if I step one foot in TZ and I'm seen with Damo Platinums, it's going to bring another yet problem. And you all know when TZ blogs step on your neck, honey, they will interview everybody, include your neighbors. <laughs> and it's not even a legend. Anyway, on to our next story. Hamisa Mobeto, okay, Hamisa Mobeto did an interview, first of all, before I talk about what I saw, and I think Hamisa Mobeto should sue at this point, okay? Hamisa Mobeto did an interview with Rwandis, okay, on March 10, 2023, and she said to young women around the world, no matter your background, your environment, and so keep uh keep on striving push and pray and your goals do not give up on yourself no matter the circumstances just be sincere with your actions and push and show positive results that that right there was what she was talking about i think when she was a nominated rather when she won uh top 100 most influencers in africa and also i saw people talking about if you take a look at a missus hand you'll see like a red ring and i saw some blogs that loose cannon called original east she's saying that that ring belongs to witchcraft and i see some bloggers taking that story and running away with it i think at this point amisa you're supposed to t start collecting your deformation cash at this point because these people are doing going too much it's one thing to talk about something and then one thing to actually accuse somebody of doing witchcraft the only witchcraft that amisa has ever done is make your tanzanian men last after her okay and none of y'all can get her okay and i feel like i mean so should just you know sue the lady because i mean how do you just come up with some heinous idea that somebody is wearing a witchcraft ring were you with her or because of the last incidents now you're going to use that to ridicule her for the rest of her life i mean back off just let her miss her be and let her live her life okay anyway that is just my opinion tell me what you think down the comment section do you actually believe that story or not keep it classes time message you my next one bye bye